Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm just going to come on here and do quick reviews on three books that I've read. So yeah, let's just get started. First book I read this month was Black Ambrosia by Elizabeth Engstrom. The main character's name is Angelina and she's a young girl. Her mother has died. She decides she's going to leave her house with her stepfather and just go on her own, her own way how to make it without you know on her own so she starts traveling and just hitchhiking and stuff like that she just travels all over meets new people and just really it just follows her on this journey of trying to find herself but she's also a vampire so it's an interesting vampire tale it's not your average vampire that has a master and someone who made her and whatnot. You get to know Angelina and a couple of other people in the book. I ended up giving this book four stars so I really enjoyed it. I wish it, that it would have been more of a normal vampire story but I still enjoyed it. It was a good read. The next book I read was Roses and Rot by Cat Howard. I don't have this in physical book. I listened to it on overdrive through my library. This follows two sisters and they go to, they both get to go to this art school where they can study and be mentored in their each, in each of their own art. Uh, one of them is a writer and the other one is a dancer. I think like ballet type dancing. This school is actually in fairy or it's on the edge of fairyland you get to see fey involvement and how they can be ruthless and trying to get what they want out of these artists and yeah it's just the story of those two sisters trying to get through this school it's kind of a little bit of a competition to see who gets picked for this certain award I gave this one five stars. Next book I want to talk about is The Kingmaker by Kennedy Ryan. This is a romance and it was, I really enjoyed it. You had the two main characters. One of them was the son of a big oil tycoon, but he didn't, he didn't follow in his father's belief. He wanted to learn how to do without using oil and fossil fuels he wanted to do more the energy route the windmills and stuff like that the other main character is a native american and her mother lived on a reservation and I, her father did not so we follow her when she's young she's doing a protest um where the other main character's father they're putting in a pipeline that's gonna go right through reservation land and she's protesting it, doesn't want it to go through because they're taking away their native land that was promised to them. The two characters meet at this, at this protest and that's kind of where it starts. You follow their journey through like over 10 years of each of them. Yeah, and this, this is the first in maybe a duology I haven't read the second one yet, but this one left on, left off with quite the cliffhanger. So I'm excited to see where this uh, story goes from there. And the last book I'm gonna quickly mention here is a reread. I read *The Assassin's Blade* by Sarah J. Mass. I love Selena and Sam's stories. This is, you know, where this all takes place before Throne of Glass and you get to know the backstory on her and Sam and how she got to where she was in the beginning of Throne of Glass. I gave this five stars again. Um, I love this series and I'm gonna this I'm doing a whole reread of the series for this year. I wanted to give you my quick review on it, tell you what I thought of them and yeah I'll see you next time. Bye!